I think people went back to Jesus, obviously because of going into lockdown and huge changes in the world that make people wonder what life's all about or like just want something. So it's like porcelain prayers. Do you know what this is? It's when you're vomiting from being so drunk and you feel awful and you're, you're, you're over the toilet and you're just undignified and you're, please God, please just make it stop blah, blah, and you keep vomiting and like, just make this, no, I shit myself. And you just make this stop, please God, I'll never do it again. And I mean it this time. This is the 17th time I mean it. This is the one, it has, this has to be it. <laughs> Porcelain prayers. So, I feel like that's what happened when the world went crazy and people were like, what makes sense? But one of the things I feel like pushed people to Jesus is this, specifically. All the devil stuff, the revelation of their methods where they're just saying, hey, guess what? We worship the devil. It's not just Lady Gaga and people like on the fringes of top 40 pop culture. I mean, she's like, she's top 40, right? Lady Gaga is leaving bathtubs full of blood and all this crazy stuff. And, um, you know, but we've seen enough of it. And anybody can go to YouTube, no matter how old you are, you can find somebody in your age bracket that's doing videos about how Taylor Swift is a witch. Katy Perry is satanic. Here's what the symbolism means. Hi, these are, this is the top tier iceberg list of 40 things wrong with Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, Nicki Minaj. Oh, who's, Rihanna's really bad. She's really into the devil stuff. And, you know, they're all the Scarlet Women. The Scarlet Women, uh, Aleister Crowley, that's one of his ideas. But it's also, but it's it's a it's it's a it's taken from the book of Revelation where the Scarlet Woman will run blood will run red with the blood of Christians. So he wants an army of his Scarlet Women. The devil wants an army of Scarlet Women to go out there and you know drink the blood of Christians. So now you got a bunch of man eaters out there like never before, right? It's enculturated. They have YouTubes on how to do it. Only fans girls are teaching girls how to be only fans girls and it's like sith lords where they they teach each other and then they kill each other <laughs> that's like socialist government right like give us the things we want okay do we get those objectives okay who goes and you just keep killing people until you've got the gandahar smart brain running your cities but i digress because i want to stay focused why did people come back to jesus because it's just so much transparent devil stuff. One of the top shows on TV was Lucifer. You've got every pop star. Oh, Drake did another video with pentagrams, upside down crosses in church, Snoop Dogg. Everybody, old, new, young stars. You know, um, what's his name? Harry Potter and Hermione. Hermione's like, I'm in a real coven. And then Stranger Things is like, I'm gonna be a witch. So, and Hannah Montana is saying, I've joined basically some kind of Metatron school of demons with all that kind of Metatron shit. And it's just Gnosticism, demons, not Jesus, not God stuff. Looking for love in all the wrong places where there's none to be found. Trying to get from Malkuth to Cather, all this stuff. Station to Station Bowie stuff. Trying to. Be, trying to be romantic and poetic about devilry and we're at the start of the coming rays it's homo superior my foot um so that's where we're at people a lot of people i don't i don't really see videos of people turning away from god um but i'm not looking for them but i feel like there's more people looking at popular culture and entertainment saying why is all this stuff about the devil it's like wow i remember sabrina the teenage witch from when they were growing up when they're because their parents were watching it in reruns you can go from x to zoomer to millennials or whatever and you can feel all those all those people in those that frame they saw sabrina the teenage witch with christina love hewitt what was her name they saw the one that was on tv and it was like a sitcom and they had a cat that was a puppet 
Then they're like, guess what, everybody? We're doing Sabrina the Teenage Witch on Netflix. And they have, they got sued by the Church of Satan. Netflix got sued by the Church of Satan. Cease and desist. You can't use our Baphomet statues. That's like our copyrighted thing of the Church of Satan. <laughs> really. And they sued Netflix. And then I guess they, 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 it was just to get attention. The, the, it was just a publicity stunt. The Church of Satan wanted PR. And there's a PR move. Hey, everyone. Netflix to Sabrina the Teenage Witch is using like real occult stuff. They're giving it the thumbs up, meaning you get the sword. Die. In the traditional sense. Go, you know, and do not pass go. Don't get any money. Don't go to heaven. Don't talk to dad. Go right to hell. He's, he, they want you to, they want God to say, I don't know you. Right? All these wrong versions of him. But a lot of people are getting funny ideas about Jesus still. Right? Russell Brand's doing weird Gnostic stuff recently. Jim Carrey's the same thing. So you have your celebrities that are not pop stars. You have also music people doing like bad versions of Jesus getting it wrong anything that is about tripping and going to meet Jesus don't that don't work maybe when you're begging for help he'll pull you out of it <laughs> if you beg him that'd be about it I mean I don't what would I know about that I hate I don't I'm I'm uh, I'm opposed to psychedelics I'm for being without them all right I'm not against anything but when you're against something, it mobilizes against you. I'm for life without those things, even in micro, especially in micro doses. States legalizing. The pharmacies are going away, but they're legalizing mushrooms and ketamine drips. You know, for therapy. Hi, I'm. Uh, I'm sorry if I. Did it, it got weird when I was reading the scriptures, but I'm pretty, I was doing ketamine strips when I was doing the live stream and reading the Bible. He does these things grieve dad. He didn't like it. But I do believe the thing that made people come to... Well, being locked up, sure. Seeing the world change drastically. Not just where you live, the whole world. Oh, guess what? Walgreens is pulling out of places. No medicine... You know, like, <laughs> not even gun store, liquor store. Maybe a vape shop will open up. You can have that. I mean, I got to put those old videos back up. But just seeing the changes in the world, like vape shops pop up where the businesses used to be. Used to be a mom and pop business. Used to be a pizza shop. Now it's another vape shop. Where the hell's all this stuff coming from? It's just all, I don't know, whatever. Because um, these places are full of all these little... Little vials of Huxley Soma, I say. Um, <laughs> in the future, everyone will be high all the time. Uh, but I, what brought people back to Jesus, I think, one of the biggest things is just seeing transparently how, like, op it's revelation of the method stuff, just to get on with it, you know. Openly being satanic. You name me. The things that are openly satanic, Travis Scott concert, Lil Nas X blood slippers, <laughs> blood, f uh, uh, I mean, maybe it's not openly satanic, but there was that one stripper streamer girl, and she was, um, what's her name, Ashley Covington, I don't know the names of these people, and she was like, I'm making wine with my yeast infection, strain or whatever. And you can have Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga cold cuts with cloned DNA strands of her cells. And it's going to be lunch meat. And then, you know, 50% bug parts. But it's like seeing... Like if you are familiar with the Bible... Or you, you, if, you, if you turned away, you know, like now's the chance to turn back to God. Oh, look at this. Like... These people believe in the devil. Like you're seeing pop culture, pop stars, music, movies, TV. Everybody's, uh, what's her name? Britney Spears is saying, hey guys, I think y'all might like the works of Eliphas Levi. And that's the Baphomet guy. He's the one that came up with the Baphomet thing that um, the Church of Satan sued Netflix about. Like he did that drawing and everything. The goat headed titty thing. Bat wings. So Britney Spears is telling you to read that. 
I mean, that's just recent. But I mean, going, you know, from when we all got locked up and everybody got weird and, you know, and, and society starts crumbling and they're like, you know, Travis Scott's doing a satanic dystopia store and saying everyone that dies at the concert, he's like, I'll take take that one and that one. It's not how it works. We've got the eight souls or whatever. Fuck you guys. They go to God. You didn't, you, you okay, people died, but you don't get to keep them. It's like Freddy Krueger where you're like, I have the souls of the dystopian concert children in my chest. <laughs> that's, that's not how it works. And even though I don't know how it works, I know that that's not what our father who loves us would do, that people would die at a concert and that they would be tortured and suffered after that. Not unless they were evil and they're going to hell, but I think it was young people that died tragically. So let's not make light of that. But what happens when you see that a lot of celebrities and famous people... James Franco is openly a Satanist. He had a satanic wedding. He was eating spirit cooking cakes of light with Marina Abramowick, which have all the most nastiest bodily fluids in them. And it's basically anti-Eucharist, okay? Cakes of light is spirit cooking. You know what spirit cooking is? It's what John Podesta was invited to. That's why the world knows about spirit cooking. There was the WikiLinks or whatever that was. WikiLeaks or whatever, whatever that was. And they, um, and they said, look, here's these emails. What's, what's, what are they all talking about going to spirit cooking? And that was Marina Abramovic who openly writes in blood at her installation shows that she, that spirit cooking is this. Sperm, blood, urine, excrement. It's all the disgusting fluids, blood of children, and then you put that in. It's Alistair Crowley recipe. But the devil, really. It's the, it's the devil's recipe for man so that we humiliate ourselves and each other. So James Franco is a Satanist. And the celebrities coming out and just being demonic, the scandals, the island. Hey, we have an island. He didn't kill it. Guess what? Jeffrey didn't kill himself. Yeah. Who was he bribing? He had a whole island that they were like, he, where'd his money come from, obviously. Yeah, he, so he was bribing people for someone, and you and I know who that is. But how come the world isn't asking those questions? Like, yeah, who were all the people that the island was for? It was just for him? He was just some baller guy, it was just him and Prince Andrew? Sorry. And the guy from The Simpsons and Chris Tucker, and it's just like, I don't think that's enough money, you know? It's the richest people in the world. It's huge. So expect when that, with that, ever, however that comes out, expect like that's probably the thing when that goes down for real. That's when horrible stuff happens to divert from it. They're like, get yeah, the videos out. Look, here's a weird pool party, and they have it's a pool full of cut off children's heads, and there's politicians and celebrities with the bodies. Oh, that's obviously AI fakes. So anyway, the world went crazy. And I think when the world goes crazy, people are like, look at all these rich people and the elite and stuff and they're drinking blood and there's the Gothard Tunnel celebration. Do you ever see that? It's terrible. It's eight million dollars, eight million euro, thank you for a tunnel in 2016. And it's a big devil worship ceremony where they birthed the anti, they birthed the beast of the end of the world or whatever <laughs> it's it's it's, it's for, and it's a show for rich people it's a show for the richest people who paid for the longest underground tunnel in the world that delivers supplies to the CERN Hadron Collider so I think people just go on the internet and and it'll be like well if these people believe in the devil and everything they do is raw raw the devil and it's like satan and it always has horns and hooves and they're saying satan and oh lucifer and all this and they're just saying all that in blood of course in the blood well then why well if they believe in that like and they're really going for it and they're really saying hey everybody we believe in the devil well then well, then maybe that makes people think about God. Well, like, well, if they believe in the devil, then what is God? Well, if you really want to find out what God is, then it's Jesus. It's the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence. So people are finding out. So I'm willing to, I'm willing to believe that 
there are probably more videos on YouTube of people coming to Jesus than there are turning away from Him. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, it's very, it's very direct. I just, I think there's more videos that, where people are coming back to God as opposed to turning away from Him. I mean, I'm sure those videos are out there. It's like, you know what? I see how horrible the world is, and I did all this stuff. I used to be rah rah Jesus, and you know what? Where is He? Right now, you hear that? Oh, there's another one. Huh? What's that? Do you hear that? Huh? There's babies being raped, and little children begging God to help, and He didn't come. Somebody else did, and now, and now that the, you know, and it's, oh, another holy innocent. You know what I mean? It's a hor horrible world we live in. How easy it is for people to flip a switch and just be Germans on hard times and, and become murderers, or to just be a, a boy and then become a boy soldier, and next thing you know, you're 12 years old and you're bayonetting. Uh, you know, prisoners, bayonetting grown men in the Adam's apple. You know, you'd be in what sixth grade, in a, if you were in American public school. You have options. I don't know if you know that in American public school. So you know, what I mean, like all this stuff happening is making people go, well, the world's going crazy, and then it all does compare to Book of Revelations. Like, I wish I could remember the exact places. But there's that part where it says, in these days, men will be, you know, the days will be lawless and men will become worshipers of themselves and they will be vain and ignorant and all the, th and pride and, and prideful and everything that we see now, like that's, that's the social media platform influencer. Like what's aimed at the young men? Be horrible. Uh, be like exemplify the worst things about a chauvinistic man and what's aimed at the women be a chauvinist be a chauvinistic man and a lesbian and if you're a man be a chauvinistic man and hate women so much that you just want something that looks like a woman whether it's a robot or a lady boy or a chichi man or whatever it is you know what I mean so <laughs> I saw they have love dolls now that are that are like if you can't afford like a five thousand to eight thousand dollar rubberized silicon sand dead body thing, like two hundred pound dead body thing with a wire armature, like stop motion, life size stop motion dead thing, uh, they have stuffed animal love dolls where they're like filled with stuffing, but it looks like an anime woman with like you know quadruple H tits. I'm not gonna like. I'm not. Wouldn't tell you to look those things up, but uh, you, if you see my old videos, you 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 know that those things exist because I talked about them before. So just going online, people talking about how they failed, seeing the craziness of it all, people telling their OnlyFans tragedy, finding out the real figures. Like, wow, if if, if a girl does make any money, most of them only make like less than 150 a month, extra for whatever like that's not gonna you're not gonna live off of that and you've shown you've given your body to the world you've become a digital harlot for anyone to see oh here's another picture of my butthole in the shower and nobody even gave me five bucks because the first guy that paid five dollars it just made it google image search and there I am in the shower you know and you can see see it so I think it just pushes people to Jesus. It just pushes the depravity. Like you can only go so far. I mean, let's face it. People went so far into porn, online porn addictions that they have burnout. And this is men and women both, you know, young and old. And one of the tragic things I heard was that people, from people working in nursing homes um, was like the epidemic of self-abuse of the body in elderly years because they're just at home with nothing to do looking at the four walls and they're horned up all day long and then like they say that the devil tests you right up until the end so there's a bunch of old people in the senior centers saying oh I never did this stuff before and I feel the time of the world has changed so right at the end they ruin everything become dirty masturbators imagine that our, our old people and their dignity being taken away because they're just whacking it. <laughs>
I don't know. Was that always the way? I'm gonna say no. This, there, there just wasn't so much bombarding us to make us think about sex, whether we're men or women. And there's now more than ever like there never was before. And we're just watching a breakdown of things. And yes, our government really is trying to kill us. But it's like global. Like It's like there's like a big plan worldwide for all the richest people to say, let's wreck everything. We're breaking it up. Forget what we could have built. We could have built mankind. We could have done edifying works to be pleasing to God and recanted and repented against the devil and ushered in some kind of new golden age or something. And instead, the richest people in the world said, let's look at the planet like some kind of evil stratego, hunger game, squid game, whatever you want, dystopian thing, and just break everything down. It's about demons giving people bad ideas. It's very specific intentions. It's to make sure that people don't get to heaven. It's to do everything you can to make hearts turn cold and to break down people and degrade them, apparently right up until the end. Um, like holy fathers on their deathbeds, uh, praying, give me more life just so that they can repent, give them more deathbed life so that they can keep repenting. They're getting some idea. Over and over again, holy fathers on their deathbeds, the videos are on YouTube, dying, praying for more time to repent, more life. They want more life to repent. How? These guys dedicated their lives to God and knowing Him better than you or I are going to get to. And they're saying, give me more time to say I'm sorry. So think about the narrow path. There's no alternative, you know? You see the destruction of things and you're like, oh, that's the opposite of the way things are supposed to be. Oh, and it's the devil, it really is the devil. Like, that's what people are seeing. Like, that's what's bringing people to Jesus. They're looking and saying, oh, this really is the devil, you know? And then you go to Islam and there's just too many, well, I'm gonna watch YouTube on what Islam is. And then you're gonna get to those videos right away where it's Muhammad 54, Aisha 9, and you know, I was playing with my dolls, and we, he, and he took me away. And Muhammad, the fifty-year-old pervert, is consummating his marriage to a nine-year-old, consummating his marriage to a nine-year-old little girl. And all the stuff about how black people and women don't get into heaven. And if you do get into heaven, and you're a woman, you are part of a concubine pool forever. And if you die as a little boy, you're forever a servant in heaven to the guys who are. Or have eternal erections who are screwing your mom your aunt and who's because they're 18 year old virgins with their perpetual virgins with their milk their bosoms filled with milk and all you have to do to get in is like just kill a lot of people you know blow up a bus or something and then that's how you get into heaven and then that's what heaven is for a man but if you're a woman in heaven guess what you're an eternal concubine. This is Islam. No way around it. So why wouldn't that push people to Jesus? Well, because m most people that are Muslims are lazy armchair Muslims. Not lazy in life. They work really hard, I'm sure. I just mean lazy about their faith, what they believe. You know, because, obvi because obviously Muhammad is, you know, that's way messed up, all that stuff. You know that's not God. So I would just say the teaching of Islam, it, it will make, it's gonna, it's definitely a tool that's gonna be used for murder. It, the teaching of Islam, they're told to go murder everyone that's not you. To, that's what God wants. But a lot of other people are going to go to Jesus because you're hearing what I said Islam is. And when they hear that, they're gonna go, no, that's not God. That's definitely not God. But somebody who doesn't believe in God at all might pick Islam because they'll say, well, Islam is the most aggressive religion, so I'll pick Islam. And like, that's probably Andrew Tate's motivation for saying Islam. It's like, well, obviously the most violent and other religions are afraid of them. So if other religions are afraid of them because the Muslims go out and murder people, then, well, if I don't want to be murdered, then I'll just say I, I'm Muslim. And Muslim treats women... Islam treats women like shit, like across the board. 
Even Aisha said when she got older, she, this is Muhammad, one of his wives. Um, she said, um, nobody suffers like a Muslim woman, that's for sure. And there's talk about like, you, you know, you can beat the hell out of your women and all this stuff. And you can have like multiple wives and stuff. So all this stuff, it's just like pushing people to Jesus. <laughs> anyone, anyone who wants a chance at eternity is going to just look at, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people are going to look at the madness and pick a side in it. You know, like if you have princesses who all they had to do was just renounce God and they would live a life of luxury and everything. And they're like, no, dad, you can cut off my head. And then the king says, cut off my daughter's head because she won't, because she's picking Jesus. So I, I told her, you do what I say. And we believe in this, these pagan false gods or whatever bullshit for money. So I don't want to hear any more about this Jesus stuff. So if you stop saying Jesus, then you get all the money, everything. It all comes back. It all stays. That's it. It's over. You just have to do it. And these princesses, like real princesses, how many princesses, a bunch of Russian princesses, how many princesses had their heads cut off just because they said, just because they love Jesus so much, they said, take my head off, I'm not saying that. It's, some people would say, it's just words. I, I know St. Peter wouldn't say that. And St. Peter has the keys. I don't know if you can see him in that painting, but he's right there with St. Paul. St. Peter's got the keys, and he's the one that heard the cock crow three times because he denied that he knew him. And he's got the keys. So, <laughs> princesses would rather have their heads cut off, you know, and go to eternity and be married to God and Jesus forever, and, you know, they made the right decision. <laughs> but it's horrible that that's where we live. So expect the horrors, you know what I mean? Like more to come, like, I'm sorry guys. Like I, I, I want to uplift you, I will. Um, but boy, I, I don't think, like I had this life where I just pushed really hard and like, I want this and I was willful and I want, I, I did whatever I, how do I get things that I want? And either I got the things I wanted or I didn't, but it was always empty. But then when God came into it, boy, that just blasts everything. I don't know what I want, what's the value. Look at everything different. And everything has this like moral dimension to it. And then you're like, oh yeah, like, I really, like, really. Once you find God, you're like, I don't know how to explain it. You have to live that. Maybe you already know. Like you can't do anything without him. You would just be stupid to not, you have, you, you know, like now you know. Like I know, I have a direct line to the top. I can take it right to the top, anything. It doesn't mean they'll give me what I want. But it's not about my wants always. It's just about taking it to him. I of myself can do nothing. And you'll see it repeated over and over again by the saints. That same sentiment, that's, it's not sentiment, it's truth. You can't do anything without him. And even without him and you don't know it's him, you're being helped in so many different ways. This is realms of the incorporeal. This is angels, this is things we can't see. This is God everywhere present and filling all things. I heard an evangelical say a horrible thing on YouTube and they were saying that God's not everywhere and not and all. And I'm like, I understand what they're saying about mistaken New Age ideas, but it is everywhere present and filling all things. So yes, this means, I don't want to get into that. That's another episode. I'll have to tackle that. I have a problem with the evangelicals. They think they know it all. I'm not saying I do. I don't know anything. But boy, they say some stuff where they're like, you got to understand, like, you're dangerous. This is dangerous. You can't just say this stuff. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. You guys are, you guys have problems too. We're supposed to help each other out. <laughs> uh, uh, I got to be careful. I, 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 got, I had a bad effect on a famous Christian YouTuber. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I did that. And I was like, that's not the way you do things. 
it made me change the way I did things. So anyway, to sum it up and end this, so thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you got something out of this. Um, I hope I gave something useful. But I think a lot of people came back to God because they're just seeing so much of overt devil, outright Satan worship stuff, or people saying that they worship the devil. And then if you say that and you show that, and everybody sees it, and that's what's on movies and TV and in the music over and over and over again. Well, not everybody thinks it's a great idea. It's just business as usual. Or I, they don't mean it. It just makes people think about, well, if they really believe that, well, then does, it makes them just think about God. Well, it's like, well, if they believe that, then what do I believe? And you're like, I know I don't like that. It just feels all oh, this creepy and weird. So it's like, well, if they believe that, then maybe all the God stuff is re real. Maybe the Jesus stuff is real. Because it's very specific. When you do God, when you do the devil stuff and it's Satanism, well, the opposite of everything that's Satanism is Jesus and God in the Bible. It's not Buddha or Allah or, or the Korean or any Lao Tzu or any of that stuff or Wicca or being, you know, any of that stuff. It's like there's the devil stuff, which is transparently Satanism. And it's just out there. And then there's the pop culture stuff we do like, which is like Stranger Things and all stuff that's popular that has like the Conjuring and the Blumhouse stuff and it's propagandized at us. So if you pay enough stuff at, okay, there's exorcisms are popular, ghost hunting TV shows and movies, all this stuff is popular and it has been for years. Cryptozoology, YouTube, uh, and and Bigfoot shows and ghost hunting shows and even where I live in my which still pretty much sleepy little area I think we only had one death it was a, only a couple deaths of white people from Black Lives Matter when the black people went crazy and just started killing people um, that was a couple years ago obviously um, but <laughs> I've lost train of thought um, but I think just, you know, it's it's like it just narrowly pushes you to like, okay, well, I see the devil stuff in Satan. I see the Satan shit. And you see it when you drive around. You see people have the wheel wells with the pentagram. Like, I know I never used to see not one bumper sticker on a car. I used to see the coexist stickers in cars with like tons of bumper stickers. But I never saw not one of them ever be a goat's head in the upside down star. Do you know what the upside down star means? It means man's head in the earth. A man, a star pointed the right way means like, you know, it can mean like the symbol of a man with his head point reaching towards God. Well, with the devil worship, Satanist, Aleister Crowley, Lucifer stuff, you put the star upside down, converse, like on, you know, converse sneakers, and you put the man's head in the dirt. That's the upside down star. And then you put the goat in there too, and that has all whatever that means, which I'm sure I know. <laughs> but if I thought about it for like two more seconds. But you never used to see that in bumper stickers. You tell me. I don't need to know. You see that. When you're driving around, unless you don't drive around. But when you're driving around, you see that in front of you. You, you see bumper stickers now. You see it in the parking lots of places. You see devil shit like you never saw it before. And what do you see for kids? Toys that poop. There's all this stuff. Toys that poop. The idea of it's an ice cream emoji, but everybody knows it's a pile of shit. For years, bombarding this, this poop emoji and putting it on, like, merching it out on everything, having kids, all this stuff where kids playing with poop. I saw a thing, it was Play-Doh, it came with a little Play-Doh thing. Play-Doh's bread dough, do you know that? It's like bread dough, and they color it, whatever. That's Play-Doh, it's, it's flour, and whatever else is in there. Flour and water. Plastic or something, probably. <laughs> but anyway, um, they had Play-Doh, and it was brown, and it came with a mold of different types of stools. You know, like, oh, this one's shaped like the curves of a child's intestine. Oh, look at this one's like a runny dump. And it was Play-Doh molds for shit, and it was in the kid's toy department of Walmart. And I'll find it, because it was on clearance. 
<laughs> I mean, it got clearance. I saw it in the toy department and it got clearance and I bought one and I, and in my old episodes I showed it to you. So I've already showed it. But I'll try and find it again because it's in a bin somewhere. Because I have grandkids but I'm not going to give them, I'm not going to let them play with shit. But um, I used to do all kinds of stuff like that and to show you on the show, look. I should do that again. I still, I still, I'm like a clearance rat. Like I check out, probably lots of people do now. They still have clearance at places. I always check it for, like, oh, here's the, like that for me is a treat. Oh, here's the thing that's like still peanuts on the crumbling, you know, dollar bill. Um, fiat. And um, they have a car called the Fiat. Why do they call it that? Um, <laughs> um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just going to end this now. But yeah, I just feel like all this stuff, like all the craziness is just, like it's going to push you, it's going to push a lot of people. Not everyone, obviously. Um, but it's going to push people specifically to God real God, true God, the Trinity one in essence, is going to push them to Jesus. Because none of the other God, like if you're going to, if you're just seeing devil stuff, which is what I'm, this is my thing that I'm holding to, what pushed people back to Jesus specifically? It's just seeing all the devil stuff in the pop culture and seeing it like everywhere, just like transparently in Hot Topic and everything and video games. And movies and TV shows, it's like, oh, they're just like doing cult spells and killing each other. All the movies where they're doing rituals and drinking blood and all this stuff. And finding out that the famous people are doing it for real. James Franco's having a satanic wedding. His brother won't talk to him. <laughs> whatever, whatever. All this stuff. Um, Britney Spears is saying, hey guys, go go read the works of Eliphas Levi. And, because she did do that. So... But that's recent. But so since we get since we got locked up and all the craziness happened, people spent that time going down rabbit holes. They start out watching Shane Dawson conspiracy theories with Jeffrey Scar guest host or whatever. And then it leads them to real stuff where it's like, Yeah, these people are rich and they have money and they worship the devil and they use magic to get stuff done. So if that's what they're doing to get stuff done, and I don't want to have anything to do with that because it gives me the creeps and it's evil and I want the antidote for that, it's only going to be Jesus. There's no white witchcraft and all that. That's all bullshit. That's all that white witches and all that. I'm a good witch. That's all stuff. Well, one, it's famous people lying because they know that it's not good. Or... Two, it's people that think that they're doing good, but they don't understand. Like, they haven't gone far enough into it to find out that, no, you're just doing witchcraft and it's all satanic. Like, it's all just demons. Like, you're always just dealing with demons. Um, so you can't. You, ha you can ask God for help. Like I said before, a direct line to the top. Go in. He told you how to do it. Go in, shut the door, and when you pray to your Father, pray then like this. Our Father, who art in heaven, that whole little thing perfect technology from God straight from the top we should be using this and then you go into everything that's driving you crazy please Lord forgive me for using too many words but I can't bring this to anybody else <laughs> please help your will be done and I just wanted a couple of things I wanted the girl I wanted the house I wanted to point whatever kids uh, rural in a place where they're not going to come and like melt us down where they're not going to laserize us from satellite <laughs> outside the I want to I want to go where future Scott lives in a realm in a shadow band outside the smart city where the aquifers are polluted with cannabinoids and the megafauna are completely docile and our protectors and pets please Lord I want to live with Scott and T in a realm in a shadow band please it's safe there they're alive and well, but it's probably not pleasing to God that everything's high all the time. But that's the way the rest of the future is in the smart city. And those people are throwing themselves out of the buildings. So they start. They took away the windows from the smart cities. So what do you need to... You're just going to try and jump out of them. We're not going to put nets up. People don't want to look out their windows and see the nets. <laughs> that was for the factories. Now it's for the Gandahar brain to run the smart cities of whoever's left that are itching and burning because God's coming back soon. 
So anyway, I hope you had fun hanging out with me. Um, I may or may not have outtakes for this because I was like, how do I come at this? I don't know if I did it right, but I did it. And I know that it doesn't matter if these look compressed because this isn't about what I look like, all right? And you're probably, wa you're probably listening to it anyway while we do, you know, helping you get through work or whatever. Or 2 a.m. bottle feedings. <laughs> I remember there's a comment I'll never forget. The guy said, you gotta do more lo-fi chill jams. I love listening to you when I'm doing 2 a.m. bottle feedings. And I remember thinking, I wanna make more just for that one guy because it's a limited window of time where you're gonna be doing those 2 a.m. bottle feedings. So I wanted to deliver. But the problem is, I wanna, I, I'm, I'm thinking of stuff, I wanna do edifying stuff. I wanna do stuff that uplifts. So I can't just do daily slop and news and weather. I always gotta, that's why I tried to say at the end of every episode, you know, Planet Daddy issue, call your father, because I want you to know that it's the one unifactor to us all. We all have the same dad. You know, even though some of us, he'll say, I don't know you. But, which is, it should be a terrifying thing. The idea that you would think you were a Christian and that you loved him, and then when you finally met him, there's nothing that could be worse than that. I've been saying it for years. It's the really, the only thing to really, really fear that God would reject you. Because I assure you, whatever horrors we're, we're going, whatever horrors we're going to endure down here, you know, unto death, nothing would be worse than that God would say that he doesn't know you. You know what I mean? Like, talk about ultimate rejection. You have your heart broken down here lifelong, right? Maybe you love somebody and they die on you. Maybe you love somebody and they leave on you. Maybe you fail somebody and you know you deserve it. Maybe you didn't deserve it. But when God says no to forever, man, get it together. Beg him. Repentance is huge. Dad wants you to know that you're, he wants you to know what you did wrong and that you're sorry, and stop. You're not gonna figure it all out, but um, it's worthwhile to think about what it is that would be pleasing to him rather than knowing what you've been doing that's not, and quit that devil shit, and you get your weird witchy girlfriend to, to, to you gotta find out what it is that gets through to people that puts the fear of God in them. You can't come at them to that. I think one thing that puts the fear of God into people is the fear of knowing that there really are people that worship the devil and they drink the blood and that there's networks of this and it's all part of human trafficking and all this stuff and that everybody knows who Jeps, Jepstein Island, <laughs> Carly Rae Jepstein Island, they know about her. Um, it's the same, it's the same song. And it's all about the Polar Express, every song. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go. And thank you for hanging out with me. You may or may not see Mr. McGarbagedi briefly, where he informs you. Do you know who Mr. McGarbagedi is? He, he just, whatever you, whatever's garbage that they want you to have, he just takes it in like Japan. What do, what do you want us to do, we'll do it. He's Japan, Mr. McGarbage is Japan. Uh, here are the outtakes. Whatever I tell him to do, he does it. He's like a woman, they just want to be told what to do. I'm just kidding. Um, they do, it's just so nonsense. It's always sour grapes, it's like, but I worked really hard and I have all this stuff and I thought that I would get the other stuff that I wanted and now I don't have anything. I have wine and cats. And, you know, whatever. So anyway, I really, 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 really am going to go. There may or may not be outtakes. I kind of feel like obligated to make sure that there are now. You know what I mean? Like I have them already. So I'm, this is going to be outtakes after this. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you got something out of this. Call dad. Pray. Read the Bible. <laughs> be good. Here are the outtakes! Uh. A lot of people discovered Jesus. Why? I've heard more... <laughs> correction. I've seen more videos of YouTubers coming back to Jesus. 
Why so popular? I think it's obvious. One, it's all the lockdowns, but but also it's changes in the world. It's like everything stopping, and then people looking at what's going on around, and then whatever entertainment's there. They were catching up on their YouTubers or YouTubes because there's nothing else to do. We're getting ready for your UBI, so congratulations. So we're gonna die. So <laughs> congratulations. Get ready to get nothing. You will have nothing. We'll all be equal. We'll all be the same. We'll, it'll, everything will be equal. We'll have nothing and then we'll kill each other. There'll be those who just decide. Anyway, I want to stay focused um, on universal basic income. No. Um, let's start over. <laughs> Lots of people have come back to Jesus since being under lockdowns and the proof of that is they made videos and they put them on YouTube and they change their content. And then maybe they have one channel where they do new stuff where they're still terrible and it's not really very Christian, but they're learning and they're growing. And and then they have another channel where they're reading Bible verses and stuff like that, which I don't even know if you're supposed to do. But the point is a lot of people have come to Jesus. Why? Oh, well, because if you ever used to go to church and you see how the world is, you might remember Book of Revelation stuff and then we're under lockdown so people are watching YouTube and at some point that kind of stuff is going to pop up like, hey, this happened and that happened then because the Bible and then people are like, yeah. But I think more than that, and this is where I want to, this is where I want to focus. I think the thing that brought people back to God was actually the devil. It's just seeing the transparency, which they I would call as well because that's these are their words it's revelation of their methods so now the people who are in charge like yes we live in a time where our government's trying to kill us but and also trying to take that global they're taking all the worst of history Stalin and Hitler and saying how can we perfect that you remember how the Germans went after the Jews well, now we're going to do a thing where the whole world goes after Whitey. And wherever they are, we're going to make sure there's people for them to fight with. And then, you know, whatever. Whatever the reasons are for that. But it's just... They see us as playing pieces to be manipulated. Like, they see your sons and now your daughters as well. As just, just cannon fodder. Literally. Gun fodder just shoot each other. It's all friendly fire. We're just going to make wars just like we always have. So you can see the template. You look at history and you can see, oh, they're setting up the same stuff again. Make it rough for people and then push all the buttons to make them go crazy. And then also make sure everybody has a phone in their hand to tell them how to behave and make, you know, make 10, make t a decade of Walking Dead episodes. <laughs> Unlimited horror. Hey, it's Sunday morning and the kids eating cereal. It used to be Sunday morning cartoons, not as good as Saturday eating cereal. Now as the guy has his throat torn out by zombies screaming. Wah! And then there's, you know, children watching in the show. And then they get eaten too. Because these they don't spare children. It's just disgusting. So I think what brought people back to God. Okay, also being locked up and seeing the drastic changes in the world and the man, like, well, it seems kind of manufactured everything all at the same time. Huh, how interesting. And now, you know, everybody's like, yeah, sorry, we kept you locked up, and now we ruined everything, and all the stuff that we took that, that is gone now is never coming back, and we're going to take more stuff away. But yeah, like, we were wrong about the germs, and you didn't have to do all that stuff that you did. Even though people are still doing it, and Dr. Felci burped a cum fart and told everybody, Yeah, oops, <laughs> sorry, I just made it up. So, um, so really what I think brought people back to God was just seeing so much say, outright satanic stuff. You have American Horror Story season, the devil walks the earth season. They keep going, season apocalypse or whatever they called it. That's basically what it is. It's about devil stuff, right? So, witches and covens. They were building. They had American Horror Story. I remember being a nurse, and I used to go to this guy's house, and he was watching American Horror Story. And I saw the early seasons of it. And it was about people being taken over by the spirits of witches and Jessica Lang and everything. 
And I said, why are you watching this lurid, old gay guy? So why are you watching this lurid stuff? And he's like, oh, I really like it. And now it's just apocalypse. American Horror Story, they just went into the apocalypse with Lady Gaga and Drinking Blood, Macaulay Culkin skinning people. I don't know what they do in that show, but I know that they just went into the end of the world or whatever. So you can have a marathon, you can binge watch Lucifer, which is Sympathy for the Devil, terrible idea. You see what I mean? Like, there's all this devil shit everywhere. I know I went too much into American Horror Story, but it's like every Super Bowl, every... Madonna's like, I'm gonna do a Kabbalah ritual and you're all participants. But then it just looks like she does like, de like devil shit like all the rest of them do. So fill in the... Taylor Swift is a witch. All that. And she's also a psyop. I have those videos. But I think it's the transparency and just uh, we have uh, we have little Nas X we have 666 satanic blood sneakers. <laughs> it's that's so stupid. Yo man, I'm gonna get me the blood sneakers for real, Ed. Terrible. Um, so we have like a new genre of hip hop, which is satanic hip hop, and Travis Scott. Everybody knows that he they sat they he. he considered the people that died at the concert as sacrifices. Um, he's like, yeah, we'll take them. That's not how it works. When you die, God's in charge of that. You don't get to take, not a Freddy Krueger. These are the souls of the children of the Travis Scott dystopia tour. Ho, 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 ho. You shouldn't have come to the concert. No, if they die in that, if they go right to God, that's for him to sort them out. The ghosts. There's the unclean spirits and demons. Look at what's in the air. Witchcraft aimed at children. It's trans. It's like so transparent. Like Disney Plus has like upside down pentagrams, and there's like a cartoon where the girl's holding her hand out, and it's got the the the, the, the what's that? Night Stalker Richard Ramirez tattoos on his hand, on her hands or whatever. And she's the mom of the daughter of the devil, <laughs> because everything's Luciferian inversion. So, if it's the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, an unholy Trinity is a gay lame chick where the baby comes out of her butt and it's all women and Themyscira and Ma Miss Marvel and all these things. And I come from a planet of, what was that one superhero? So anyway, I'm just saying, like I'm trying to throw at you like all this overt satanic stuff. Hey, guess what? Here's another, Drake did a video with upside down crosses and pentagrams and blood. Lady Gaga is always doing stuff with blood. Lady Gaga left the hotel and pissed off everybody at the hotel because they had to drain a bathtub full of blood. She was such a slob, she couldn't even drain the tub. No, she wanted you to know that she's a blood drinking ghoul and she wanted you to know that she had a bathtub full of blood so that you would go, huh, I wonder what Lady Gaga's doing, let me find out. A bathtub full of blood. That's what Perez Hilton is. Is that guy even alive anymore? <laughs> Sometimes the panda button can be the delete button for your life. That's how some of those guys go out. Um, so anyway, if you just... I think that that's the thing that brought people back to God. The depravity of everything around them. There's porn. There's so many different ways you can come back to Jesus. Burnout on porn. The wealth of videos saying, Countdown to the... Here's my iceberg top tier list of top 20 reasons why it's definitely the end times. Why it's the end of the end of the world. And I said that too enthusiastically. Hi. Uh, whatever. I'm not going to do these Zoomer voices. Alright. The Zoomers, the last generation. That's what they want. I say BS today. I, I disagree. We're going on beyond Z. And that's dangerous for the powers that be. We have no idea what these... These... <clears throat> unpoisoned, untainted, hidden <laughs> youths will be doing that will that will somehow God will keep them out of the SCS <clears throat> SCSC whatever SC Chinese social credit system whatever that equals out to okay so I just I feel like I did a terrible job at this episode for you, but there's just so much shit that's satanic. I should have just had a list. Forget about the satanic panic of the 80s if you've seen YouTubes about it. I live, I was there, I remember. And you know what? 
I remember somebody, and this woman was obsessed with that this kind of stuff. Not my mother. No, she was the opposite. She was like, loved the devil. So, <laughs> so this lady used to say all this stuff, and we always thought she was crazy. Christian lady, she's a Roman Catholic. She was right about everything, all of it. It's all evil. Like she was right about everything, all being evil. Led Zeppelin's evil. They worship the devil. It's backward messages. It's all true. They they work. They did everything they could to do all that shit. They all worship the devil. So, but also I think just like staying home watching YouTube's and finding out, like, look, here's everything new. Boy, there sure is a lot of devil stuff, and a lot of like. Well, I know people aren't maybe thinking, like, maybe most people aren't thinking in terms of, like, social Darwinism or survival of the fittest or postmodern deconstruction. But they understand make it a chick, make her gay, make it lame. And, you know, like, every movie is just the same movie. So I think about, like, I think... Well, I really, just to be, to simply pare it down, I think it's just seeing all this devil stuff... And then the people are like, nah, this has to be an outtake. This isn't the episode. This I gotta do it over. I'll keep going. Um But nah, I'll start over.